We are going to review a hip flexor stretch with Pales Rails today. I have Ryan here who's going to demonstrate all of it. He loves the stretch, so check the facial expressions the whole time. So, to get into this position for stretching the hip flexors, we like to do this in a kneeling position. So Ryan's gonna get his right leg forward, left leg on the foam pad here and we are going to be stretching his left hip flexor. So the left hip flexor attaches from your hip up onto your spine on the left side. So he's gonna make sure that his hips are not sideways, that he's not kind of arched one side or the other. He's going to stack his hips here to find the stretch. Now we are gonna make sure his rib cage and pelvis are parallel to each other. So if you think about your hand on your rib cage here and hand on the top of the pelvis, he's not dumped into an extended position. He is not over tucked where his rib cage is all the way down here. He is sitting upright, driving his rib cage and pelvis towards each other. Now, from here, he's going to find a nice deep stretch just in a tall upright position. Thinking about pulling his belt buckle up towards his nose. Use those abs, this is a very, this is the most active stretch of most of the ones that we do. Now, if he doesn't have much of a stretch there, he's going to drive his hip just a tad forward and lean forward into that stretch. That's how you find just a little bit more. If you are not finding a significant stretch, just pulling your hip flex, using your hip flexor to pull your pelvis towards your nose. So as he's in this stretch, he is continuously, continually pulling that belt buckle towards his nose and thinking about lengthening all of that stuff in the front of his hip. We are not having any extension or pinching in his back. He is just contracting and holding that stretch as much as he can. He's trying to relax, making sure his shoulders aren't coming up to his ears and he's fighting it and hating it. We are gonna hold this stretch for two minutes. When the two minutes is up, we're gonna start the pales contraction. For hip flexor stretch, pales contraction is, first we contract the hip flexors. And that is the stuff in the front of the hip. So Ryan's gonna think about inhaling in through his nose, trapping air into his abdomen, making sure he maintains that parallel contraction or parallel position between rib cage and pelvis. He's going to drive his knee straight down and forward. So he's gonna start lightly contracting, building up a little bit more of a contraction and a little bit more. He has a stick here for balance. That is something that you can drive into the ground even more to create a little bit more tension as you're driving that knee forward, contracting again, all of the stuff in the front of the hip, the hip flexors. He is going to hold that contraction for 20 seconds. When that 20 seconds is up, he is going to ramp down and relax them. And as he does that, he is not moving in or out of the position. Remember these pales rails contractions are isometrics. Nothing's happening. So now he's relaxed into his hip flexor stretch. Back again, we're gonna do the rails contraction next. Rails contraction are gonna look like a glute contraction here. So he is going to start squeezing his glute as hard as he can. Again, we're ramping up to that, so starting at 25, up to 50, 75 of your max contraction, and now give me 100, and hold. He is not extending, he is squeezing that glute, and again, using even more abs to pull that belt buckle towards his nose, finding more of a stretch, holding for 20 seconds as hard as he can, and breathing, do not hold your breath on me. Now, the 20 seconds is up, he is going to relax. Good, ramp that contraction back down, slow and controlled, that ramping is important. And he is either going to slowly come out of the stretch from here, or he is going to repeat those contractions again, because sometimes you get a little bit more out of it when you repeat the contractions. Um, so that is hip flexor stretch with Pales Rails. Ryan loved it very much, and I'm sure that you will too.